Baba Is You is the best puzzle game I've ever played, and in fact maybe one of the best games I've played, period. For the uninitiated, this is a simplistic looking puzzler all about changing the rules to succeed. So for example, you may enter a level that seems impossible at first, but by interacting with the various words scattered around the stage, you can change the sequence that says wall is stop, so that you can move over walls and create the sentence flag is win to beat the stage. You quickly realize that the possibilities are endless here, so you can turn yourself into a rock, adjust what object is the goal you need to touch and even warp the level in crazy ways that'll make your head hurt. It becomes apparent that Baba Is You is less about moving a little, I don't know, bunny, sheep. Wait a minute. Baba Is You. Holy frick! Baba Is You is less about moving a Baba around to reach goals and more about programming and coding. This is a game about game design. The hook is that there are literally over 200 levels. So much like other indie darlings such as Celeste or Super Meat Boy, it seems like the game never runs out of content and always has another trick up its sleeve. The trailer does a phenomenal job of showing what Baba Is You has to offer. And at first, I thought some of the rules it threw in were jokes, but nope, all of these mechanics are actually in there somewhere. Let me put it a different way. Every single time I've booted up the game, it's accomplished three major things. Teaching me something new, surprising me with some of its solutions, and blowing my frickin' mind. I really can't say that about most games. So if this interests you in any way and you haven't played it yet, consider this my spoiler warning. The rest of this video will pick apart why I feel Baba Is You is already one of my games of the year and a must play even if you're like me and don't enjoy puzzle games that much. So pause this video and go try it out for yourself, then come back later and let's talk about it. Here's a little more about how Baba Is You operates. The game is split up into various worlds on an island, and each section has an overall theme, but also tons of mini mechanics that it'll teach you within. Early on you learn that if certain rules are on the edge of the screen or outside of your reachable area, they can't be changed. So in a way, these are the meta rules that you have to work with, while everything else in the middle of a stage is able to be manipulated. And for the most part, if it's put in there, it's for a reason. The most important modifier is you, because if it ever loses its object, you can no longer move and have to either rewind to a previous step or restart the stage. Other things can become you, but you have to change it in one move, otherwise you're just a cold dead husk. Also, rules only work top to bottom or left to right. You can't make a backward phrase, it doesn't work like that. So there are some limitations within the game's rules, but you'd be surprised how much you're able to modify. Baba Is You is a very hard game. In my first hour, it already made my brain feel like a sawmill trying to churn out concrete, but I will say the learning curve is very good. Because of the vast amount of levels, it takes you on a tour of all the different ways it'll bend what you thought was possible at a leisurely pace. So you only slowly lose your mind, not all at once. At first you learn the basics, such as things that sink in water, keys that open doors, or that you can even make yourself win for an easy victory. But eventually it'll add in more complexity, like teleporters, conveyor belts that push in one direction, objects that move on their own so you have to wait for them to finish a task, or the mind-melting X is X rule, which means that whatever object is reinforced cannot be changed, and your attempts at breaking the game are overruled. And those that have gotten pretty far into Baba Is You know that this is only scratching the surface. What this leads to is puzzles that are full of epiphany moments. Often you'll be completely stuck for a long while, and then feel like a total dummy when you didn't see the correct answer right in front of you. Even further, many puzzles have multiple solutions. So when you think you finally found that tricky aha moment they were wanting you to find, you might come back later and realize there was an easier alternative that you could have done all along. I like that they include bonus levels that are just little adjustments of puzzles you've bested. So if you thought one stage was easy, they'll test you further and say, okay, but without that solution as an option, how would you solve this? It really feels like the developers thought of every possible situation and know where your mind is headed. Countless times I started a stage and thought I knew the answer right away, but then there was a hang up I didn't notice, and I couldn't help but be angry yet impressed at their ability to follow the player's logic and make them take a step back to look for the correct path that isn't quite as obvious. 
Another thing that's pretty unique is that because of the static nature of each level, you can memorize their layouts and various puzzle pieces. So even if you're away from the game, you can still think on it and say, hmm, I didn't try that method yet, for when you come back to it later. The game builds to insane heights, where sometimes objects will hold other objects inside, so when they die, another thing pops out. Or you'll have to control two or more of the same character at once. Or even crazier, maybe you'll need to kill yourself by breaking the is you formula, but set it up in such a way that other things will move it back into place and you'll be past an immovable obstacle. Like what? It keeps adding more and more rule sets, like gravity, being close to a buddy, otherwise you get lonely, and the not modifier, which does exactly what you think. So you can make not Baba is you and control everything else on screen. But don't worry, not not Baba is still just you. <laughs> This game yet again keeps going, and into territory I haven't seen other games even touch upon, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave another spoiler warning here because from now on I'm getting into the real spicy stuff, like this is the kind of thing that you'll remember forever if you discover on your own, so you've been warned. Okay, on the map screen you get little dandelions for beating a stage, and flowers for completing a certain number of them within worlds, which unlock new gateways and even more areas. But what you might have ignored right in the corner is that there still is the Baba is you and flag is win rules. This is so simplistic I didn't think much of it either, until the game introduced the level mechanic. So by this point in the game you're well aware that you can turn objects into other objects by saying rock is key for example. So as a joke, I thought, <laughs> what if I made level is key? That probably won't do any- Whoa. Yeah, it actually made the level itself on the map a key. Which sure, gave me a quick laugh, but the implications are huge here. What if I can turn the level into something else, like Baba? Oh no. That's right, the map itself is a level. And if you turn another stage into flag, you can win the map screen. You ready? It's time to put on your meta shades. From here on out, you know that everything can be manipulated, and you're constantly looking for another opportunity to change levels into other things. The game is so much less about beating stages anymore, but about how to actually proceed outside of them to find the next one. And the game knows it, sometimes the win objective is super obvious, but you need to change the level to be able to unlock even more stages. Like I said, this game never ends, it's insane. If you turn one level into a rock and another into a baba, you can push it into the water to open the depths. And whoo boy, you become a skull, you gotta move the cursor onto yourself to move freely. But don't worry, even the cursor can become something else later on. You control empty space itself, you can unlock stages that have just letters that can spell out different words. You end up stacking different rules on top of each other to activate two things at the same time, there's rules that are hidden until you find them. You, oh man, I don't feel so good. Flag is end. Secret orbs? All is done. The Baba is you was the Baba is me all along.